guys, welcome back to part two of my daytime and nighttime skincare routine. I decided to do a little intro for this part because I originally planned to combine both my daytime and nighttime together in one video, but of course, when it comes to talking about skincare, especially a skincare routine, I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna ramble and I'm gonna go on and on and on about how much I love all of the products that I use. So of course, I went off on some tangents and probably went in depth a little bit too much. So of course, things got a little lengthy. So this is part two, go over and check out part one of my daytime routine. I'll give you all the 411 on that, but this is what I do during the night. And we're gonna get right into all the details right now. So when it's nighttime, first and foremost, my number one priority is getting off all the gunk, dirt, oil, makeup, pollution, and you do that with a double cleanse. So I have some makeup removers here that I want to show you guys. First, for the eyes, and I do like to use a separate makeup remover for the eyes just because the one that I'm gonna show you in particular is just so good and I love it so much. So I do continue to purchase it and use it. I don't need to because the other two cleansers I'm gonna show you do, do a great job of taking off eye makeup, but I just love this one so much. I can't let it go. Lancome's Bifacil. Any of you out there that have this product, you know what I'm talking about. It's the best. Now I'm gonna show you an oil and a balm. I love both oils and balms, so I use them interchangeably. Shiseido's Cleansing Oil, fantastic cleansing oil, gets off everything. Very light, once it washes away, it doesn't leave any residue left on the skin, which I know is a concern for a lot of people. I know a lot of you guys hate that leftover residue that these makeup removers can leave sometimes, this one doesn't. Comes with a pump, does the job very well. My Green Clean, this is my Makeup Melt Away Cleansing Balm from the pharmacy. It is beautifully packaged, like all balms should be, with a little spatula on top that you scoop the product out with. I love that. It smells beautiful very fresh, gets everything off, it melts away. It is a balm uh, that you scoop out and as you massage it on your face, it dissolves and becomes an oil. Then you wash everything away, all the makeup comes off, all the balm product comes off, nothing is left on your skin. Really great product that is very well hyped up on social media and it deserves all the hype because it works. So after getting all of the makeup off, then I go in again with the cleansers that I spoke about previously, either Cetaphil or my Youth to the People. That doesn't change. I don't use a special uh, nighttime cleanser right now. Right now, that's what I do. I use the same cleanser morning and night. Then after that, I'll go into my toning step again, either using the Bioderma or the Ordinary, especially the Ordinary if I'm wanting to use an acid toner. That's the time I use it in my nighttime routine. I don't like using it during the day. Then again, I repeat my essence, the fresh essence that I showed previously. I will put that on and then move right into my serums. Now this is where I may switch things up a little. The hyaluronic acid from The Ordinary, I may use that again, but I may also incorporate some others. Now I will put on an acid product if I do choose to use one that night. It's not something that I necessarily do every single night, but if I do use an acid serum, it's going to be during my evening routine. And I have four here to show you guys three from The Ordinary, and they are the lactic acid. This is the 10%. They also have a 5% if you want to start with that, if you're a beginner or have very sensitive skin. Salicylic acid, 2%. Mandelic, great for sensitive skin. I know a lot of people can't hang with the glycolics, can't hang with the lactics. Everything on the market is very much e either one or the other of those two. Glycolics and lactics are in so many products. If you can't hang with them, hang with Mandelic. And my baby, you guys already know I had to talk about it. There was no way I was gonna do this video without including my Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. 
This is my number one baby, my number one acid serum that I use as much as I can. Definitely not every night. I don't think it's necessary uh, for me at this point to use it every night, but you can if your skin can handle it. 14% AHA resurfacing night serum. It contains honey, it contains some flower extract, lots of ingredients that will help to soothe the skin. I do have a few other acid slash exfoliating type products that I do want to mention and I will link below. These are not products that I would ever use on any real consistent basis, definitely not daily. This is Volition's Turmeric Brightening Polish. It's the only physical or manual uh, exfoliator that I have and that I'm currently using. I don't need any more than that because I'm a diehard chemical exfoliator person. Chemical exfoliants, ke uh, acids are the way to go as far as I'm concerned to get your exfoliating needs met. I'm not a big fan of physical but I do use this every now and then especially if I've got some real crazy flaking and dry patches going on. Sometimes I feel like my acids are just not doing it for me. I need to scrub, so this is my scrub. My Ordinary AHA BHA Peel, again, not something I use very often at all. Minimum once a week. I really don't see the need to use it any more than that. Very strong, not for beginners again but something that you may want to check out if you've been using acids for a while and want to step up your game. Another Volition product, their apple cider vinegar uh, peel pads. These are really great. Great for travel because there's no liquid that you have to worry about. They're pre-saturated pads and they have a little pocket uh, that you just put your put your finger in and you can just swipe the pad over your face. Peter Thomas Roth Glycolic uh, peel. This is a 20% and it's in the form of a giant Q-tip. If you can see the photo on the front there, it is a giant Q-tip pretty much saturated with glycolic acid and you just swipe it all over your face and neck. There's quite a bit of uh, serum in each one of these packets. They are individually packaged and you just open it and swipe it all over your face and neck take it all the way down even onto your chest. There's that much serum in here that you can do that, so don't waste it. But this, again, once a week, definitely no more than that. Maybe even every other week I would recommend using this because it is so powerful. But it does the job. Pricey, oh, I know some of these products are pricey, but I'm not going to steer you guys wrong. If I've used something that's pricey and I really believe it's worth it, I will recommend it to you. And these do a really great job, um, especially if you've used the lower percentage acids and you feel like they're not doing enough. It's time to step it up to something like this. I thought right here would be the perfect point to throw in my lip scrub. I just want to casually mention it to you guys because it's not something I use very often. I admit I do slack with taking care of my lips sometimes, but this is the one I'm currently using from MAC. It is one of their lip scrubtious uh, lip scrubs. Retinol is something that I definitely use only in the PM, even though this one in particular that I'm going to show you guys uh, has been marketed to be used AM or PM. I still prefer to keep my retinols in my nighttime routine. And this also goes on before moisturizer. Moisturizer is always my last step at night. And right now, Drunk Elephant is the winner. It is the clear winner right now. I am loving this retinol. This is their A Passioni uh, Retinol Cream and it's a 1% and it is powerful. Definitely not for beginners. Definitely make sure that you work your way up to uh, using it every night if that's your goal to use retinol on an, on an every night basis. Right now I'm still at about three times a week and I've been using it for a while now. I love it. Yes, there are some packaging issues. I've read the reviews. It does tend to ooze out a little bit, so you got to be careful with how much you're pressing on the product. Um, I'm not sure, you know, if anything is going to be changed about that in the future, but you know, it's not that big of a deal. The product itself is amazing and it 
really does a fantastic job and as pricey as it is, again, worth every penny. Then next, of course, is moisturizer. And again, I repeat from the daytime, I'm either gonna use my belief or the ordinary that doesn't change. I really do uh, like to use the same products from day to night if I can. I don't really feel like I need to switch up things like cleansers or moisturizers unless I really feel like my skin would benefit from switching it up. But for the most part, I just like to stick with the same thing. I also wanna mention to you guys an eye cream and this is the one that I'm currently using right now from Algenist. I didn't actually include it in the demo previously, but I do use an eye cream for the most part, AM and PM. I just didn't uh, happen to film it. This one I really do enjoy using. I can't really speak to it doing any amazing things for my under eye area. And I really don't need an eye cream personally to do any amazing things. I really love something that is just gonna give me a lot of moisture and smooth and prep that area for makeup application. Because when I do my skincare routine, regardless of what the packaging says and pretty much, you know, 99% of products out there will clearly have labeled on it, do not use in the eye area, but I'm gonna be honest, I do. I like to take my vitamin C all the way up there. I like to take my SPF all the way up there. I like to have that area, give that area the same TLC that I give the rest of my face. So I am very careful and I do my best to not overdo it, but after application of my entire face with a product, I may do like a light pass as I've heard Caroline Hirons, my skincare goddess, recommend that you can do that once you've applied your product all over your face, just do one pass under your eye and that's it to get some of that product in that area. But if you are an eye cream person, I do like this one. This is the one I'm currently using and it does, it does the job. So that's pretty much it for my nighttime routine. I'm gonna mention another bunch of products though that are extras. I consider these extras, something that I might use every now and then if I feel like it. And I'm gonna start off with some oils. I do use facial oils, and the two that I've loved for a long time now are rosehip seed oil and marula oil. And the two I have with me are from The Ordinary. Of course, I'm always gonna talk about the ordinary products because they're so good and so affordable. Acne treatments, these two I've had for quite some time and they pretty much do the job for me. I know that there may be better ones out there but these are just the two that I happen to have and have been using uh, the most. And one is a drugstore product, affordable, again, Clean and Clear's Persigel 5 and this is a benzoyl peroxide medication and this is Kate Somerville's Eradicate, and this product has sulfur in it, very comparable to the Mario Badescu uh, version, I'm sure a lot of you guys know about. You keep the two parts separated, don't shake it up, put your Q-tip down in past the liquid into the sediment, pull it out, and then dot it on the affected area and it helps to just dry everything up. I have a few sprays to mention to you guys. I'm not a big spray person when it comes to skincare, but I do have a few here that I do wanna mention that I have been using for some time now and I do enjoy and I will use every now and then if I feel I need to. Two Caudalie products, you guys know if you've been watching me for a while, I really do love Caudalie, the brand in general and I have their grape water and the cult classic beauty elixir. And I've used these two interchangeably as toners occasionally. This not so much because it's expensive, but definitely I love using this as a toner occasionally, definitely as a refresher um, after makeup application. These next two are newer to my collection. This one is from Seriously Fab. This is actually a sunscreen facial mist. This is not just any mist. It contains an SPF of 25. And you guys know you cannot just slap on your sunscreen in the morning. 
go out the door and be done with it. You need to reapply. And Tatcha, the Satin Skin Mist. I love this one. I'm combo oily. How many times can I say it? And I'm always down to grab any product that comes out on the market that is catered towards that skin type. And this is a balancing liquid powder for normal to oily skin. And that's exactly what it does. It just balances you out keeps you looking refreshed without the greasiness. Masks, I do love using masks. Sheet masks, especially lately, I've been really into sheet masks. I have two here to show you. Tatcha as well as Pharmacy. These two have been my main go-to hydrating uh, sheet masks. I have two traditional masks here for you, both in the kind of regular cream type forms we're used to. One from The Ordinary, and this is their brand new salicylic acid 2% mask. I do have a full review on this. It should already be up. If not, it is coming up. So you can get all my thoughts on uh, this product over there on that video. And Kiehl's, this is their turmeric and cranberry seed energizing radiance mask. I've had this one for quite some time. This is a brand new product, so I've only been using it for a few weeks, but this I really love because of the turmeric, which gives it its amazing color. And also the cranberry seed makes this kind of a two-in-one type of mask where you're getting the brightening of the turmeric, uh, the radiance, of, of that particular ingredient and some exfoliation capabilities with the cranberry seed. Lately, I've been using this little sample I got from Jouer and it is their Essential Lip Enhancer Conditioning Lip Treatment. And I really have been enjoying using this one for a while now. It really goes on beautifully, it has you know, pretty good staying power on your lips throughout the night. And it absolutely does do what it says. It does condition your lips and it really uh, does give you a really just beautiful uh, kind of fullness to your lips as well. So I really do enjoy using this as my nighttime lip treatment. So that's it guys, those are all the products that I use for my nighttime skincare routine. Again, if you miss the daytime version, go over and check that out. I'll put it in the cards and also in the description so you can easily find it. Please let me know down in the description box what uh, products you use for your nighttime skincare routine. Let me know, I would love to find out what you use so I can go out and get it and use it for myself. Because you know, I'm, I'm a product junkie. I love it all. I want to try it all. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did find it helpful and that you're proud of me that I finally came to you guys with the skincare routine that you've been asking for. Please let me know if you've tried any of the products that I did talk about, how you have experience using them. Let's all chat down below and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.